Hello everyone, my name is Rod and welcome to my simulated HO scale layout. So I model Norfolk Southern's Memphis District West End, uh, which is part of the Alabama division. And what I've built here is a simulation of the railroad I'm building at my house. Uh, I built it because I wanted to see how the uh, how it would look, how it would operate, and I found this pro web program. Well, it's not a program; it's a video game called Rolling Line, and it's the best one I've found so far that's doesn't cost much it's about 20 bucks off of steam and it's pretty easy to use compared to some of the other ones I tried train uh, simulator trains with a Z and that one was pretty hard to use uh, I might post up a picture of it it has better graphics and looks way better this one uh, looks more like a toy but you can still get the job done and it's much easier to use so I'll show you my layout so where I'm at right now is standing in my office actually I'm above my office and this right this is a doorway and it goes into a attic hallway which is about uh, 10 foot wide by 20 feet long and it goes over there to uh, the garage above the garage which is another 25 by 11 wide and that's the size of my railroad right there um, the layout itself is about two foot wide the, the width of the sections except for the forest yard down here the main yard is about four foot wide over here we have a helix that's in a closet it's in a walk-in closet a real small walk-in closet and then it goes off to staging that's below the yard which I'll show you in just a little bit all right let's go in here and look at it I'll just kind of walk through the whole layout so it starts out, my layout's going to start out right at Air, Airways Avenue or Boulevard, um, coming into Forest Yard. Uh, they call it Harris Yard now. Uh, they called it Forest Yard back in 2000, which is the time period I'm, I'm modeling. So I'm going to call it Forest Yard. Uh, you got mid-south refrigerated warehouse right here uh, and all these places actually exist all right let's go down here so you can just take a look at some of the modeling and you can scratch build all these buildings put the windows on them plants all this stuff So Forest Yard actually does local container shipments. That's what this is. It also does freight. They have a little engine facility, not much, and uh, our car repair place mostly. But I'm going to make it an engine facility on my layout. Here's the yard office. yard itself uh, I can't remember how long it's gonna be it's gonna be 20 30 it's about 30 something feet back there is gonna be the dispatchers little cubby hole and that's where I'm gonna work on uh, 
models and things. There's a window actually out here in the gable of my garage. So I'll be able to sit there and look out the window into my driveway. It'll be nice. And I'll have to do a crawl under, or I can crawl under there whenever I want to be over there, but it's okay. Alright, over here, continuing on east, this is all going to be, right now there's no scenery really. I just put a bunch of trees over there for the time being. Um, and this is all Memphis coming along here. Peninsula is about three feet wide back here. I think the radius is six foot, or it will be on the real model. And uh, about 36 inch radius will be the minimum. And as we get over here, this is white siding in Memphis. It's going to be a lot longer. It's going to go all the way back here. But I just put that there for, for now. And that's all that's on the first level. And it leaves and it's going to go into this section, which is actually attic. When it gets to the second level, it's going to enter into Carville, Tennessee. And they actually have some in industries here, which would be fun to model. Uh, Carville Corporation, or Carrier Corporation in Carville. Um, air conditioners, they also have tank cars. This is all going to have uh, buildings. It's going to have the Kyle Square. This is a pretty big section right here. Um, they actually have a depot and a steam engine sitting on a couple of passenger cars that sit there. As you're leaving Kyle, or in Kyle still, you got uh, CMC rebar right here. You also have, and now you're getting into Piperton, Tennessee, and you got 84 lumber. You also have uh, glass steel, or now it's called AOC resins, which will again be taking tank cars. Also in Piperton, you're heading into Rossville. That's where they have the Memphis Regional. Uh, intermodal facility, the new Norfolk Southern. And it's not really big enough to, to model it, but so I still don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but I could because it gives the local a good place to turn around uh, and head back down to Forest Yard. This is Rossville Siding. And then as you head out, it's mostly going to be country. Um, I may go ahead and do uh, um, Mid-South Farmers Co-op. That's technically in Moscow, but I might cheat a little bit and put it here. If, if not there, I may come on and put it in a staging area up here on the top. All right, let's go down here and I'll show you the staging. I'll give you a quick look at the helix. It's basically double track so that trains won't run into each other. If I just have them looping. Alright, here's the staging. how many tracks I have. It's at least 10. And I've got a loop for continuous running down here. It's going to actually have to be cut into a knee wall to actually get the loop. There's some storage tracks over here to my left. Then you would head back out for continuous running that way. All right. And here 
is the dispatcher's seat, office. I'll also be working on models, and I think I'm actually going to put a paint booth right over here on this side. Uh, this is a gable wall, like I said, that has a window, so I could I could do that. And I think it'll be good having the dispatcher's table here. Um, that way you can actually be in the same room, watch the trains go by, and uh, not feel so isolated. Uh, I'll probably put a curtain up black curtain across here if I want to shut it and that would be great for operations so there we go there's a quick overview and if y'all like it let me know I can do another video on it that shows it better in detail other than that thank you for watching and see you soon.